YouTube, the full setup here. I'm back with another tech unboxing. Um, today I've got the Motorola G. I've been really looking forward to seeing this. I'd like to thank Motorola for sending it out to me. Um, let's take a quick little look around the box. I am going to do lots of reviews and kind of gaming. We're going to have a look at the camera and stuff. So please go have a look at my channel and subscribe. So we can just see the Moto G on the front. Very small box. Um, I don't think there's probably a lot of stuff in here. But this is a very cheap handset, it's £120, this phone is really going to change the mobile market. Now, this is the 8 gigabyte version they've sent me, um, but I would recommend getting the 16 gig version as there's not expandable storage. Um, I'll just read some of the stuff on the back here for you. So it says, the Moto G features a curved design that fits comfortably in your hand with colourful snap-on backs. And they do lots of different colour snap-on backs. Um, you can also get flip case covers that are magnetic and turn it on. And it also has bumper cases that you can stick on the side, which is really good. Let's get to the next bit. It's built with a, it's built to last with a Corning Gorilla Glass HD display water repellent coating, which it has got. It's got a 720p display on a 4.5 inch, kicking out 329 pixels per inch. Now, for the price and for the size of the screen, this is like one of the best in its class. You will not find a better screen on a handset, let alone a handset that starts at 120 pounds. And long life battery as well. Yeah, it's got just over a 2000 milliamp hour battery I want, and it's got the um, Snapdragon processor in it, um, the Snapdragon 400, um, which is a quad core 1.2 processor, and then another gig of RAM. So this thing is going to be unbelievable for the price. It should nip through everything you want to do. And that's what Motorola wanted to make with this. They wanted a smartphone for everyone. So here's the handset itself. Put that to one side. Um, inside the box, yeah, I didn't expect there'd be a lot in here. There's not a mains charger, but you should have some kicking about if you've bought a smartphone in the last few years, um, or you can plug it into your laptop. So there's the standard micro USB, and then we have some documentation. Um, safe, smart, protected. It's just about using the battery charge and all that kind of stuff. And then there's a let's get started. So it's kind of got some basic stuff for you if you haven't used Android before, kind of where the power buttons are, how to charge it. Um, there's Motorola Migrate as well, which is really good. You can um, set it up on your other Android phone and you can just migrate everything straight over. So that's brilliant. Just how to do home screen, basic stuff. I know that anyway, but it might be good if no one's used it. And how to open the back case as well to change the cover. Um, and obviously putting the SIM card and stuff. So let's have a little look around the handset. Now you can see it's got this, it's um, perfectly fits in your hand. It fits in your hand very nice. I've got small hands, so a four and a half inch phone for me is ideal. Like I've had a bigger Samsung Galaxy Note and it's difficult and you've got someone else in your hand to use. As you can see my thumb just slides straight up over to it. Um, I did have a four inch as well and then I just found it a bit too hard for my eyes to see. We've got um, a front facing camera here. Um, which I think is a 1.2 megapixel and it's 720p and then we've got the um, your speaker or your headpiece, your ear set then we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack um, what's looking like to be another microphone we have the 5 megapixel camera at the back it's only rated 720p but still that's really good um, you have to remember this phone is 120 pounds it starts from so it's packing a lot of spec um, we've got an LED flash, speaker on the back volume rockers and power now I won't turn it on because it's just going to do all the Google Android setup which is very easy to do but I am going to do a full review I'm going to do some gaming tests um, I'm going to show you the camera and stuff I think this is going to be an absolutely fantastic phone and a lot of people this will be the one for you to go and buy it's a quarter of the price of flagship phones and it's not far off on the specifications so please go back to my channel and have a look thanks for watching